Hello, I am Spencer, and today I will be covering all the versions of Armagon, the evil shark. Armagon was created for the Archie Adventure series, and his first appearance was technically in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Universe sourcebook in January of 1993, to debut officially the next month on Mighty Mutanimals number 7. The story behind his creation happened during 1992. TMNT Adventures writer Steve Murphy was reading Zombie War, a miniseries that was published by Tundra, created by Kevin Eastman, Eric Talbot, and Tom Skolan. While reading the second issue, he noticed a typo in one of the dialogues. Someone was supposed to write Armageddon, but ended up writing Armagon. He thought that could be a cool name for a character and made a mental note about it. Later, Peter Laird designed a new character, a mutant shark, and asked Murphy to give him a name and a story. Murphy remembered the Armagon incident and found the perfect opportunity to use the name. Like many Archie Comics characters, he was proposed to Playmates to be made into an action figure, but it was never produced. There are two very different takes on the character, first as a mutant and second as an alien. So let's explore the mutated shark versions first. Armagon's initial and most important story arc was the Future Shark Trilogy. The name should sound familiar to you because I already covered it in this other video. This 8 foot tall villain was an evil shark mutant from the future of Earth. He was a menacing opponent thanks to his great strength and his allegedly large brain. He claimed to be the highly evolved future of sharks with arms and legs, calling himself the once and future king. It's unclear if all sharks evolved like him or he was simply a mutation, but you have to have in mind that, in his time, 100 years in the future, the seawater levels increased and took over coastal cities, so this could have been one of the reasons Armagon became such a big threat. He also used missiles on the sides of his head. These weapons give him an advantage over the turtles in the future, causing Raphael to lose an eye with one of his explosions. During that fight, Armagon managed to steal Donatello's time slip generator, a time machine, and he used it to gather more powerful things from history to refine it and conquer time, alongside Shredder and Verminator X. When he went into the past to steal some things, he fought against Man Ray and Murdude using regular sharks, ultimately taking Murdude hostage into the future. During that fight, he told Man Ray that they fought before in the future, which would never actually happen given Man Ray's death a year later. But they did have another encounter, more on that later. During the Future Shark trilogy, the turtles from the future and the present made an attack on Armagon's headquarters, and they had to fight against his battle armor. But the battle armor didn't last long, and after finding himself cornered, he decided to open a time slip and take Leonardo hostage into the far future of Earth. Raphael and future Donnie and Raph jumped behind him, right before one of Armagon's missiles destroyed the time slip generator. In the future, present Raphael fought against him and accidentally threw him down a waterfall. The turtles assumed he was finally dead and were eventually rescued by the rest of the team. But Armagon wasn't really dead. He was left behind, alone. So he started building a giant satellite to send a rescue signal into space. The signal was eventually picked up by an observation ship many years later. Worried that someone could be in danger, they decided to investigate. But once on Earth, Armagon attacked them and took over their ship. Unfortunately, the ship wasn't as equipped as he'd expected. This race's time-traveling technology was only limited to sending robot probes into the time stream to observe other species and retrieve small artifacts or samples. Armagon ordered them to modify the robot probe to have speech capabilities and a powerful laser. Once ready, Armagon sent the probe to 1993 to free Nauticus, the Kraken, from an ancient tomb in the ocean floor. The idea would be for the Kraken to eradicate all life on Earth including the Ninja Turtles. The mission was a failure as the Kraken was put into a coma by Murdude and Michelangelo. Armagon thought it was all because of the observer's inefficiency, but they then told him that there was no way for him to succeed, as changing the past would destroy the future. Continuing to defy the rules of time travel of this universe, 
Armagon managed to open a time slip into the past to have another chance. But he only had a time window of 27 hours. Once in the past, Armagon put a plan in motion to destroy the Mutanimals and the Ninja Turtles. But during a fight against Man Ray and Murdude, his time slip generator was smashed and Armagon ended up in the middle of space. Who knows when and where? And that was the last appearance of the character in the comics. But he would start being adapted into other media. In 1993, Armagon was part of the Super Nintendo version of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. His motivations in the game, just like in the comics, were a little ambiguous. He was mostly taking the opportunity to win the tournament as his first step towards conquering the Earth. This version of the character had an Aqua Shock ability, being able to send a swirling blast of water from his mouth against his opponent. And with his ultimate attack, he was able to summon a tsunami. A similar version of Armagon was adapted into the 2016 game TMNT Mutants in Manhattan, where he was allied to Krang and the Shredder. The Tournament Fighters version of Armagon also returned for the fan-made video game TMNT Rescue Palooza in 2019. In 2014, the character was almost adapted into the IDW comics by Tom Waltz, but he eventually decided to create a new character, Bludgeon, who ended up being a very different take on a mutated shark. In 2021, Loot Crate opened pre-orders for their second edition of special TMNT crates. One of the crates was going to include an action figure of Armagon, based on tournament fighters. Sadly, several complications delayed the shipping of the crate for more than a year now. Very little is known as to when the crate will be shipped, especially after they skipped it and shipped the one that was supposed to come out after it. And that's all that is known about the mutated versions of Armagon. There is a chance that TMNT Mutant Mayhem will open the doors for a new version of the character, and he might have his own direct-to-streaming short movie, but I don't know. That character in the concept design could also be Leatherhead. What do you think? In any case, many of you may be more familiar with the alien bounty hunter version of the character. From the 2012 series, during the time the Turtles traveled into space with the Fugitoid. This version of Armagon was hired by Lord Dreg to capture the Turtles for him. The alien Armagon was voiced by Ron Perlman and had an armor that allowed him to fly through space. Generally speaking, the Space Shark had little in common with the original Armagon. He attacked the Elixis and forced the crew into a trap. But unfortunately, things got out of control inside when an artificial intelligence determined organic matter was the enemy. The Turtles and Armagon joined forces for a while to eliminate their common enemy, but he eventually turned against them. The Turtles managed to escape, leaving Armagon behind. He eventually realized that the Turtles were looking for the fragments of the black hole generator, and since they were trying to get a second fragment, he tried to steal both from them. After failing on a mission to face Cthuga, the guardian of the second fragment and one of the cosmic monsters, the Turtles got rescued by the Dagons. Armagon received reinforcements from Lord Dreg and the Vreen, and they would have won hadn't it been for Cthuga, who came back to defend her master, Hydralla. Lord Dreg and Armagon were swallowed by Cthuga, and the Turtles assumed they were gone for good, but they later escaped from the monster. After Lord Dreg found out Raphael and Mona Lisa were having a romance, he sent Armagon to set a trap for them. Armagon hacked their email conversations and captured Sal Commander. Lord Dreg then surrounded Salamandria, Mona Lisa's planet, with his armada and made a pact with her. She would bring the turtles to him and he would not attack her planet. But then Lord Dreg decided not to honor his promise. This resulted in a fight in which April put Dreg and Armagon against each other. In the end, Armagon ended up being devoured by a giant creature. And that was the end of the character in the show. He made a very brief cameo in the Batman TMNT Adventures crossover miniseries, but it was only as a vision from the fear gas that could only affect mutants and the Krang. The character was released as an action figure for the first time in 2016 and was popular enough to also be adapted into the TMNT Legends and TMNT Battlematch mobile video games. 
As I mentioned before, the space version was very different from the mutant version, but which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.